Hey, it's Birdman for Birdman on the Mountain, and time for the community shout here in Pine Top Lakeside, hanging out in my uh, studio in the Pine Top Lakeside rear of the Chamber of Commerce building with me, Crystal. How are you? I'm great. Miss Crystal O'Donnell. You having fun yet? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. In the background, I'm searching for tickets. So I know. You, they're, they're going. We're going we to get them. Maybe. We'll it's see. It's going to happen. <laughs> It'll probably pop up, and I'll look at the end of it, and it'll be timed out. But <laughs> I'll start over. What are you going to do? will be fine. So we're going to talk about, you've got like I a got whole a bunch of like, stuff. Like ream of paper of events. I do. I need to go buy more paper today, cool. actually. Let's talk about what you got going on. Okay, so we have a retail rush on October 12th at Echo Consignment at noon. And if you can't make it at noon, you can go anytime that day. Yeah, the whole the, purpose. The whole kickoff sort of like a noon, yeah. Yeah, the whole purpose is to try to get people supporting other people's businesses. That so works. help us out. Then on October 17th at 11.30, we're doing a joint ribbon cutting with the Sholo Chamber at Arizona Stone. Yes. They are in Sholo, and I don't have their address here. Yeah. Well, we'll put it up. It's easy. Yeah. It's, it's easy enough to find, and we'll we're going to be talking it. about that on both of the chambers. So. It's going to yeah. be fun. Cool. And then this I'm really excited about. We're doing a business, business owners forum on Thursday, October 19th from 6 to 8 at the Holiday Inn Express. So we're going to do a presentation on what the Pine Top Chamber has done over the past like three years for its businesses, what we continue to do, and what people would like to see us do. We're also going to discuss like franchise taxes that are coming up, different things like that. Cool. You know, I've seen this. We've seen this and talked about it in the show a couple times, and nobody knew exact details. So it's nice to hear somebody that knows what it is exactly. Yeah, we're going to have exact details. Cool. Awesome. So yeah. all about the chamber, basically, and that, not just open forum kind of thing. It's, right, it's more yeah. about the chamber, yeah. what it has to offer, all those kind of things. If you have great ideas for us, come. If you're coming to complain, I don't. Guess, I guess you can, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Put it in a positive note. <laughs> there you go. Let's go positive. Okay. Then the last Friday of the month is Perk Up. It's at Red Devil, and it's our Halloween Perk Up. So I encourage everyone to dress up because it's way more fun that way. Very good. Yes. Cool. So a dress up. Are you doing contest for the dress up? I probably will. See, I threw that out and just made it a contest, didn't I? It's been a contest for years. Oh, okay, so good. good. But last year, only two people dressed up. Boom. Yeah, so we want you to dress up. Get a up. sheet, cut some holes in it. Boom, ghost. See, done. Yeah, or wear your outfit from our annual dinner last year. There you go. Yeah. You could do that. You could totally do that. Put a name badge on. Say you're running for office. Boom. Scary. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a politician joke. Not anybody in particular. <laughs> go. Okay. What up? Okay. Last thing I have is November 7th. We're doing Flick with the Chicks to Thor. Really? Yes. Wow. I'm so excited. That's totally a Flick with the Chicks. Yes. <laughs> My son's even excited. Oh, there you go. Cool. Yeah. Awesome stuff. So, so, 20 bucks. We only have 100 tickets to sell, and you have to buy them pre-sale. Okay. You cannot buy them at the door. I will mm. not have enough seats. There you go. Tuesday, November 7th. Yes. Yes. I have tickets now. Jill Tinkle has tickets. So, let's... I was wondering when that movie was coming out, because I kept going, when is it coming out? So, when it comes it out November 3rd. Oh, okay. And so, then we're doing this November 7th. There you go. Cool. Yeah. So, you can go see it on the 3rd and the 7th. You could. Yeah, you could. Spoilers. No. <laughs> then you catch all the hidden Easter eggs. That's why you do that. That's true. Stuff like that. Cool. Okay. Uh, and you got your shirts on. I do. Hanging out. We're so, you're booked. still doing that? I am. I think I have four spots in November. But yeah? yeah. Okay. Good. Cool. So, uh, you know, it'll be showing off. You come in and see what shirts they've got on this month. Come check them out. Each day is different. It is. Cool. Okay. So I've got somebody else coming. They, they say they're coming. Okay. We'll see. And uh, I'll have them here in just a second. Uh, I'm Birdman. <laughs> okay. Back as I promised. And I've got with me now from Haven of Lakeside. And you've got to have a mic. Otherwise, nobody's going to hear you. Sarah, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. So we're going to talk about uh, Haven a little bit of Lakeside and something that you've got coming up to the community members that come out that helps uh, the people there too, right? Correct. We have our big Haven Halloween bash coming up. Cool. So tell me about it. So this is our sixth annual Haven Halloween bash that we throw every year for Halloween. We um, do a huge Halloween party, haunted rooms, um, carnival games. But the big part of it is, is we have our residents line up the whole facility and pass out candy to all of the trick-or-treaters in their little costumes. And it gives them a little bit of normalcy back in their life and get to do that trick-or-treating thing. I, I will say there's nothing as fun 
as handing out candy to kids at Halloween. <laughs> yeah, because they get to dress up. They have a little fun. Um, they they get it, it covers any awkwardness for a kid standing in, in front of them because they get to be somebody else and then ask for candy. Exactly. Who doesn't like getting candy at any age? I mean, come on, really? I mean, the residents take <laughs> most of the candy for themselves, so that <laughs> speaks volumes for that. That's what truth. happens. What day is this again? It's October 31st, Tuesday, okay. October 31st okay. from 6 to 9. So on Halloween yep. itself, uh, mm-hmm. nice, safe, indoors, lit. Um, but you need something, don't you? We do. So we go, um, we buy a lot of candy for this event because, again, the residents like to give out huge handfuls and keep a lot for themselves. So we are just kind of asking if anyone is able to donate any candy. That would be incredible, and it will help make the residents Halloween memorable. So here's my challenge to you. Have some kids have some fun. This is You'll pass fun along to the people handing it out and to the kids. You know, take 10 bucks, go buy a bag, drop it off over there at Haven and Lakeside. And you just drop it off there, right? Yeah, we have a um, donation bin right at the front. We have some caution tape around it and some big googly eyes to kind of draw your attention. And um, it's right through the double doors when you come in, so you can't miss it. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, that's going to be it for the this edition of the Community Shout here from Sholo, or sorry, not Sholo, Pine Tap Lakeside. Uh, this, of course, is shown on WMI Central and on Birdman Media. I'm Birdman for Birdman on the Mountain, reminding you, if I don't see you around town, I'll catch you right here on the web.